This is the second video of the uh, repairing and cleaning of this old Brother VX1120 sewing machine. These parts I just put in the dishwasher. Now it's nice and clean. Got rid of all the gunk inside. Oh, there he is. There. Right. Looks fantastic. Same thing here. Of course, there weren't any dishes in the sewing machine at the time. Here's a wiring diagram, or a, uh, a, a routing diagram for the, for the thread. It occurred to me, whoop, it occurred to me that some people might need to replace the, um, the belt. And I'll tell you right now, you can't get the belt around here because there's obviously not enough room in here. The belt will go on fine here. This is not the problem. It's getting it around this cog. And honestly, you know what I would do? You want to save yourself a fortune by having a technician do this? <clears throat> Take apart your sewing machine to this point. And then you get somebody with a Dremel tool and just have them make this bigger. See this slot right here? This little slot that goes around the edge here? Right? Just make it bigger. Put it all the way back to there. All the way back around there. Just have them grind it out. And that way, you can take this panel and take off this panel. <clears throat> slip this belt inside here, which would allow it to go over this portion and then you slide it over the top there and over there I think you'd have to go whoop, and over this I think you'd have to go over this first because there's a lip here See this little lip right here See this lip you put it over there and then you put it on there and mind your fingers just twist it on but otherwise it looks like some serious surgery you'd have to take off this this over here because you have to pull the whole shaft out just to wrap it around here so i'm telling you you got a sewing machine like that just get a dremel tool it's, it's poorly built shouldn't have built do i really need to stutter like that it's poorly built should have had a slot around there anyway to do that there might be a way to pop this off maybe there's a screw under there you can try that heck if you're going to damage it anyway just pop off that that little Pop off this, Oop. pop off this right here. And maybe there's a screw under there and this whole thing can pop off. But it looks like in here, it it's kind of snaps in there. Unless you can do it from this side. You might, be, you might be able to do that from this side. Hold on, let's take a look here. Let me pause this. Ooh, never mind. It looks like you don't have to grind it out. <laughs> Yay! Let me pause this just a second. Okay, it looks like this cap. Technicians were yelling at the video. It looks like the cap pops pops off. There's some clips right there. There's a clip, a little clip right there, and a clip on the other end. And I just used a, a flathead screwdriver coming at it from this way. And uh, pried one up and kind of held it and then got the other. And, then, and the belt will obviously go in through there. And you can replace your belt yourself. All right, now I'm going to reassemble this whole thing and see if it works. Oh, before I reassemble it, there is a, looks like there's a clip there. Okay. And it looks like uh, there's a little clip right there. See that? And those are the only clips I see around the edge. I don't see any other clips. So make sure that a little pin drops in there, right? A little clip pops in there. And a little clip pops. There we go, right in there. In order to put this back together, I had to pop this out, then slide it on, and then it just snapped together. Don't forget to put the uh, little screw right there. All right. Little screw goes there, smallest one.
There's a little clip here. See that clip? I think uh, I think that some people might be intimidated to work on a sewing machine, but that's uh, not a bad thing. Just take your time, take some pictures with your cell phone, and uh, maybe have a video running at the same time. Take notes if you need to. For heaven's sake, don't drop a screw. That would be bad. Speaking of which, this isn't going in. Let me pause this. I've got it on the edge to make it easier for me to get in there. It's still not going in. I really had to squeeze it and smoosh it in last time. So, oh, there it goes. Tighten that down a second here. Thanks. Stop. Come on. Now you're being difficult. A little bit of maintenance should be a skill that's required when having your own machinery. It's not rocket science. You can do it yourself. Maybe not with one hand while holding the camera. There we go. Now let's catch him. I have now plugged it back in. It is on. Let's see if this moves. All right, looks like it's moving. See the handle is moving. Might be a little tough to see in the video. Unless I put a mark on it. Okay. This isn't spinning. I wonder if I have to hold that to wind the bob, and I'm gonna have to look. Oop, I'm gonna have to look in the directions for that. Anyway, there we go. That's it so far, and. I have an issue with that, I'll make another video. Hope this helps.